Well, hi, you guys. Welcome back to another episode of Eat Acres. Uh, I wanted to say in this video that i am now just been staying in the house. Um, it hurts too much to walk around outside, and I have literally stopped doing everything. I don't do anything now. I just, I stay in the house, and I've been watching TV and doing a lot of laying down and drinking a lot of water and and uh, fluids and um, my appetite has been kind of like all over the place and uh, sometimes I feel like eating sometimes I don't but I wanted to make this video because I wanted to say that if it weren't for you guys giving me information the ones that have been through this I'm speaking directly to you guys the ones that have been through this if it weren't for you to tell me what it was like going through this for you I would have no idea what to expect because I wanted to say in this video that none of the medical professionals will tell me what to expect they won't tell me exactly what's gonna happen and they refuse to prescribe anything for pain they will not give me anything for pain not even my own primary doctor who is three years younger than myself and just went through having his prostate removed for prostate cancer over a month ago. Not even he will prescribe me anything. And I'm sure when he went through cancer and had his prostate removed, I'm sure he he was in a lot of pain. And uh, But because he's a doctor, he can write his own scripts. You know, He can get what he needs versus someone like me who is just a patient. I can't. But somewhere... Along the line, New York has changed. And they've really cracked down on pain narcotics. Now, I know people get addicted to those kind of things. However, I don't have an addictive personality when it comes to pain pills. I've been on them all. I've already had all the pain pills that you could be on for all types of horrific uh, situations. But they want to do it now basically just through hospitalization where they can keep you, control the pain, and they be the ones to administer it when they see fit. To prescribe you something and let you have it on your own, in the state of New York, they no longer allow it. That right there is enough to make me want to leave New York. Because the state has gotten so extreme on things to where it's really making me hate the state of New York. That makes me wonder if I was, if I had terminal cancer, would they just let me suffer? Would they, I mean, this, this is a painful thing, you guys. And, and you can't, I've, I've never gone through anything in my life where you can't get any information. Where, where you can't find people that are talking about what it's like to go through something like this and what to expect. Because if you don't know what to expect, then the things that are going on with you, you don't know if that is, in fact, in line with what's happening to you or is it a separate issue. Like I, I have a lot of um, um, really bad bloating sensation. Like my abdomen is filling up with water and my body is just expanding and stretching and it's very uncomfortable. When I walk... I, I feel like especially outside, it feels like the kidney is like bouncing in there. You can you can feel something pulling where the where the kidney is located in, in the body cavity. And that's a very strange sensation. And my kidney was going through uh contractions um when I was taken to the hospital by ambulance because it was trying to uh pass a blood clot. And I didn't know that that's what I was to expect. I didn't know that's what would happen because nobody told me. So everything that I'm going through, I'm learning on my own. And it's very frustrating because when people don't share information, then you don't know what to think, what's normal, what's not normal, what to worry about, what not to worry about. It's like I've never been so in the dark on this as I've been through this ordeal going down this road with kidney cancer now my uh, kidney surgeon the one that did this procedure called me late last night and he 
educated me on some things that he should have educated me on prior to having this done. To say, after you have this done, this is what you're, you can expect, this is what could happen. There was none of that. He made it sound like it was just uh, an in and out thing and there's really nothing to worry about. And so when he found out that I went to the hospital and the hospital wanted information from Roswell, he called me back and he says, the reason why you're having that horrific pain and you had to go to the emergency room is it says because the kidney was contracting and trying to pass a blood clot and that's what made it painful because that's where the tumor is and all that's been disturbed in there. And the pain was horrific. Now, it's different for everybody. So if you've had kidney cancer and you're watching this video and you said, well, that's not what I experienced. I had mild pain. I never had horrific pain. Everybody's different. For me, and I can't speak for everybody out there, but for me, the pain was, you know, if they say, what's your pain one, one to t on a scale of 1 to 10, it was past 10. It was agonizing pain, you guys, wailing pain. And they just won't give me anything for pain. And they said, all you could do is have someone at the store pick up Tylenol. So that's what Bridget did, because this is all I have, Tylenol and Advil. And, and the surgeon said, alternate it. Take an Advil, you know, at, for one dose. And then when it's time to take a second dose, go to Tylenol. I just don't understand why... You could be in th this kind of pain over something that is so bad and they just won't give you no pain medicine for it. Not even my own primary. So it's very frustrating because I'm just, I'm just stuck in doing this and learning as I go and I still don't feel good. Every single day that I wake up, I don't feel good. And I have dizziness and my appetite comes and goes. Sometimes I feel like eating, sometimes I don't, but, I, but I'm staying on with drinking fluids. Um, my glass is empty right now. I've been drinking water all day long since this morning. Um, I uh, have just been laying low and doing absolutely nothing. I'm not allowed to lift anything over 10 pounds. Technically, I'm not supposed to lift anything at all, so I'm not doing anything. Um, Literally nothing, you guys. I'm just, I just been on the couch and in on the bed. And when I feel like watching a little bit of TV on YouTube, I watch a little bit of YouTube and then I'll go and I'll lay down. But uh, I'm pretty sure this is what I'm going to be doing until the time comes to go and get the pathology report. And then he told me that after the pathology report uh, is done, that he will take the kidney out because he says you are guaranteed to lose the kidney because he says when I was in there with a scope he says I saw the cancer for myself he says you do confirmed 100% have cancer but he says until the pathology report comes back he says by law he can't remove the kidney until the patholo pathology report confirms it that's just the way the laws are in this state maybe it's that way nationwide I don't know I'm learning as I go I'm learning about this. But I had no idea that I was going to be so in the dark um, to where you just can't get help from anybody as far as just just to even get some pain pills for crying out loud. Just something to, dull, even if it just dulled the pain, it would be better than nothing. And they just were like, nope, we're not giving you nothing. We're not prescribing you nothing. Absolutely nothing. Don't ask us. We're not giving you a thing. And they said, you're just going to have to wait until your kidney comes out. And that's it. They won't give me anything. So I'm making this video to let people know that depending on where you live, that if you go through something like this or something similar, you may not get the results you're thinking. And you may not get the help that you think is going to be there. Because sometimes you are on your own. And in this case, I'm on my own. And I thank God that I got Bridget to help me through all this because if I was living alone and, and, and had no help with things because I can't do it myself, um, I'd be in a bad state right now because at least she can go to the store and pick up things. She can at least uh, prepare meals ahead of time for me to just slip into the oven. 
um, something to put in the oven to, to eat and everything because if I'm up and around on my feet and everything, I get really dizzy, I feel super sick, and I just don't feel good, and I get a lot of pain, and then I just got a lot, like, not move. And, um, and I don't know, uh, for those of you that have been through this, maybe this sounds familiar to you, maybe you've been through this same thing to where you were laying down a lot or sitting still and not being up and moving around because you didn't feel well and because of the pain. I don't know. But that's how it is for me. So right now, you guys, I don't have any content other than this to just give you guys updates because I literally, right now, I can't do anything. This has really stopped my life um, to where now it's it's just this, of laying low and being in pain and feeling sick and dizzy and urinating blood and... Um, waiting, waiting until I can get the results, which are going to be 100% positive cancer diagnosis. And then uh, they will schedule to have the kidney removed. Um, that's my dinner going off in the oven right now. Bridget made supper for me before she went to work. So I'm heating it up in the oven. So uh, I thank God for her. I'll tell you, you guys, because this has just been uh, something else. I just, I just would have never thought that that you can't even get pain medicine for crying out loud. That they just let you suffer with freaking cancer. Just unreal. That is enough for me to want to leave New York State and go to Iowa where it's a Republican state because they help me out there more even with my eye infection than New York did. New York don't do shit for you. So I don't know what to do, you guys. I'll just all I can do is just give you guys updates in videos. That's that's all I got going. I've got nothing else going on, and I apologize for that. But uh, it's just the way it is, you guys. So dinner's done. I'm gonna try to eat, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for all your prayers, you guys. It means a lot. Thank you. Bye bye.